Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Angela Kudger. And in today's video, we are going to explore the seventh dimension. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard to the conscious community. You are welcome to stay here, learn, and be a part of our community. This channel is dedicated to the health, wellness, and healing of women over 40. So sit a while with us watch a couple of videos. If you like it, hit that subscribe button and make sure you share it out and turn on those notifications. It lets YouTube know that this is the kind of content you want to see and that we deserve to be here. And it lets me know that you get value out of the information that I share. And if you're returning to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for your subscribes, your likes, your shares. You guys know that I absolutely love you. So thank you so, so much for your support on this channel as I continue to build it up. Seventh dimension. We're going to talk about this because this is the last video in our multidimensional series. And then if, if anybody wants me to go further into any of this, I'm open to doing that as well. There is a video already up on the first through sixth dimensions. So you should already have those, but I'll pin a couple of those at the end of here so that you can go back and review them. Now, the one thing we want to be able to be able to be aware of is that when we get into the seventh and the eighth and the ninth dimensions, things really kind of just start to run together and, the, and they're more theoretical in science than anything else. So for the purposes of this series, we're going to stop with the seventh dimension because after a while, they kind of are like more of the same. Now, you must understand that dimensions have to do with um, an, object's, an object's ability to be in space or in or sharing a point of time or space, okay? Now, the seventh dimension besides, well, all dimensions have to do with time and space, but the seventh dimension, we're talking about how multiple realities can exist simultaneously. Now, we talked a little bit about this with the sixth dimension as well, but I want you to think of the seventh dimension as like a library, and you play a significant role in the books that are part of that library. So you, I know sometimes trying to get the higher dimensions in our mind can be a little bit like outside of what we normally are able to think of, but we can use different analogies and things to kind of grasp this concept a lot better. So think of the seventh dimension, like I said, as a library, and you could think of it where it's like every book contains a story and then a, a, like a story of that particular universe. And then each dimension, each decision that you make creates in that dimension creates another book on the shelf, right? So you can start to kind of get an idea about why things like our Akashic records or the Akashic records of souls and the lives and all, all the decisions we've made, why that can be a convoluted experience to be able to go through all of that. It's like going through the record of all of your possibilities of ways that God can express through you, okay? And this it leads to this vast library. So think of it that way. And so the seventh dimension is also linked with the multiverse theory, just like the sixth dimension. And in this dimension, every possible outcome of every possible decision exists. So think of this like, I think another example of this is like in the movie, Doctor Strange, not Doctor Strange, but in the, it was in one of the Marvel movies, the, the, um, the, the, with Iron Man and everybody. And he, Iron Man asked Dr. Strange, what are the, what are all the possibilities and what is the, what's how, what, what is the probability of us winning this? He said, there's only one, he went through like billions of outcomes. And he said, there's only one way that we win this. And of course, if you have watched it, you know, the outcome was that Tony Stark or um, Iron Man would, would end up losing a battle, right? And losing his life or sacrificing himself. It's the only way they would make it. But that's the multiverse. That's an example of that, okay? And so when we're looking at this, there's countless numbers of them that completely defy the laws of our universe, our little bitty universe, <laughs> our universe and its laws here as well. Now, some theorists also suggest that consciousness plays a role in this, like we said with the sixth dimension, right? So could our thoughts actually be driving all the books in the library? Absolutely. Are we able to bridge between dimensions and are we able to bridge between parallel lives and live in a different um, a different uh, life? Yes, we are. Neville Goddard goes in detail about living in the end. He's talking about the wonderful human imagination that allows us to think towards 
the outcome or the reality that we want. Okay. And so it's fascinating and it's controversial, but we have people who have been doing this for a long time, right? Decades, right? And so it may seem purely theoretical when we talk about the seventh dimension, but it does have practical implications in physics and understanding the universe. It could also lead to breakthroughs in things like teleportation, time travel, and even energy generation and expending and exchanging energy, right? So I hope that you're able to use this information and embrace the beauty of the seventh dimension. There are some people that find it challenging to wrap their mind around these different dimensions. But when you find it challenging to do that, I want you to take some time to think about people who used to be a certain way and they're no longer that way anymore or they look completely different, or they are completely different. Something about them has just shifted to become something different. These individuals have put thought energy towards the thing that they want to see happen or the thing that they want to make manifest. And as a result, you are seeing this being played out. Now, are they still governed by the same laws of the universe? Possibly and possibly not. You want to make sure that you understand that you have this ability to do that, especially if you're not someone who's ever experienced telepathic thinking or telepathic speaking. Right. And so you definitely want to be someone that understands these different things. Listen, I hope you got some uh, value out of this channel. If you have, please, please, please hit that subscribe button kind of like this. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure that you're staying abreast of everything on our channel and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you know when we post new videos. I never take the role of teacher lightly. I cannot thank you enough for being here and helping get through this series. Love and light, beautiful.